Alright guys, thought I'd give you a quick a little video. Um, so yesterday I had a car that came in that had a a concern about a low power, uh, low power, and it had a um, like a like a ticking sound coming from the engine every time you you would accelerate. So um, basically, what I did is that I took the car on road test, and then I brought it back, and I took and I verified a few things. Now, um, the first thing I did was that I went and I checked the cylinder uh, crankcase pressures to make sure that there was nothing wrong with the bottom end, and there was nothing wrong with the bottom end. So then I went on to a different area. I went on to an in-cylinder uh, compression waveform, um, and I took from cylinder number one, and this is what I had. So, if everybody knows, from here to here is your 720, this is your exhaust, this is your intake, and then you have your uh, compression and then your power. Now, I don't know if you guys can, if you guys look down here, but you can see that there's an anomaly right here. Now these, uh, the two waveforms that I am going to show you guys are running compression waveforms. So if you see right here, we have a slight rise going on in pressure, okay? And then my exhaust valve opens, and as you can see right here, there's also a little like, there's an anomaly onto this area right here. And we, and we can see it more noticeable on this area over here. Um, so the, the waveform itself didn't look right. You should have pretty like even surfaces going, uh, going along. So the next thing I did is that I took and I checked the, my my pocket down onto my uh, onto my intake uh, for my intake valve, and as you can see, if I come over, the intake pocket is never the same. So if I would measure from here to here, it's not the same. From here to here, it's not the same, and then from here to here, it looks pretty even, and then it would change. It would go up and down, up and down, up and down. So for me, it looks like if I had a sticking intake valve. So this is, these engines that the, on the, the reel that I checked was actually a GDI engine and the intake valves actually do stick uh, and they get carboned up and then they start sticking and then you have drivability issues and everything like that. So I called for an uh, uh, engine flush with a GDI valve cleaning. So I didn't remove the intake for the, the cleaning. All I did was that I used a product from uh, Winds in order to try degum the valves. Now I'm going to show you guys the next uh... So as you can see on this waveform right here, everything looks pretty much uniform. So if you would go and you would look at the, uh, the surfaces, you would see that everything is pretty straight. My pockets down at the bottom, uh, they look pretty e they, they look even going all the way across as you can tell by the cursors. And also the little anomaly that was onto the screen is no longer there. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to bring this to, to you guys, show you guys this uh, little video with the in-cylinder, uh, with an in-cylinder waveform. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.